I joined the military to serve because my whole family has always served. This is a picture of my grandfather who served in World War I. This is a picture of my father who served in World War II, retired as a Lieutenant Colonel from the Air Force. And here's a picture of me just before I retired in 2007. August 21st, 2005 is my alive day. I was on a trip to Pogman, Afghanistan in an armored SUV and I got blown up by an IED. It took uh, probably five, six, seven hours before I got a phone call uh, to tell me that my husband had been injured. I basically went on autopilot. I, I couldn't deal with the feelings, I guess. The main injury I sustained when I got blown up was uh, a TBI, but I had additional injuries to my shoulders, my back, my knees. 27 teeth were broken or cracked. The recovery affected us in a big way. It was very intense. Uh, he became a full-time patient, I became a caregiver, and we were both learning uh, about the new life. Well, I had never expected to join DAV because I never expected to get wounded. <laughs> but I joined DAV because while I was at Walter Reed, I saw the wonderful work that DAV was doing in helping go through the disability process. They really gave me great support and assistance. And I thought I owed it to them to be part of an organization. You can not only feel the compassion that he has for his, his fellow veterans, and what he has done. He has overcome his disabilities, his injuries, and rehabilitated after almost two years of hospitalization. I had a dual career. I was a, a reservist and an active judge. I had decided I had to do something to try to help those defendants in court if their challenges were caused by their military service. Judge Maney was instrumental in starting the first ever Veterans Court program here in the state of Florida. And after beginning the one here locally, was able to push through legislation that helped make it uh, a program statewide. A lot of people see the court system as punishment or retribution, and Judge Maney has created the possibility to help people and to make the criminal justice system not strictly about punishment, but about helping people find themselves again. The impact that, that Veterans Treatment Court can have on some of these individuals' lives is tremendous. Uh, it not only saves their lives, turns their lives around, but in, it impacts uh, the entire family. I found myself on the wrong side of the law and in Veterans Court, and thank goodness for Judge Maney, who gave me my life back and allowed me to be a dad again and to enjoy my life without alcohol and to get the help that I needed. I had about given up on the whole world and didn't see any future in anything but dying. And now all I get up is every day want to live and see what is, is thrown at me every day. And it's because of Judge Maney and his caring. In a high volume trial court, a judge sees a lot of petty defense offenses that defendants have. And I d knew that a lot of those defendants were homeless. It de I determined that what we needed to do is help the homeless. The Oglewood's Walton Homeless Stand Down started in approximately 2007. Uh, it was initiative of Judge Maney. We have assisted over 1,200 veterans um, over the past 12 years. The Homeless Veterans Stand Down means a lot to the veterans because we are outreaching to them and they feel that somebody actually cares about them. It builds a trust within them. They trust us and that's very important. They tell other homeless veterans and they come and seek us as a resource and our help. 
I discovered the need for a vet center when I visited Biloxi, Mississippi and saw the wonderful counseling services that they offered and I knew many veterans in Okaloosa County that needed those services. Somebody needs to be reaching out um, on a congressional level because Congress decides where vet centers go and that's what he did for us. Judge Maney recognized that military sexual trauma is as equally important to treat as combat trauma and having a vet center here certainly enhanced available services for our men and women who have suffered military sexual trauma. Chief Warrant Officer 4 Mike Novoselt received the Medal of Honor for service in Vietnam. He was a friend of mine and he actually passed away while I was at Walter Reed. I thought it was a shame that we had a local Medal of Honor recipient who was not really recognized in the community. Since he flew dust off helicopters, I thought having a helicopter as a monument to him and to all the service members who served in Vietnam would be appropriate for our community. That's, just, that's little Mike. During World War II, Okaloosa County was honored by having a Liberty ship named for it, the USS Okaloosa. A friend told me he had heard the bell was in existence in Alabama and I tracked it down and brought the bell home to this county for the county for which the ship was named. I wanted to honor the Navy veterans here and to also recognize those who served and fought in World War II. What I hope to do for the remaining time that I have, that any of us have, is to contribute more to the community and the people around me. He has always been a judge with the, uh, the utmost integrity, fairness, just thank you, Judge Maney. Thank you for the legacy you've left. Thank you for the opportunity to serve that legacy. He has changed lives and changed the community.